Ashgrove won. Division 1 of the Football League. The second place club, Manchester United, have beaten Aston Villa 3-0 and have closed the gap on, Manchester, on Liverpool. Uh, there were four points behind this morning, they are now two points behind. Division 2 in Scotland, the leaders fall far, nil. Queen's Park, nil. Fall far still unbeaten at home and stayed top, of course. Premier Division in Scotland, Hearts 2, Motherwell 1. Motherwell, the bottom club, they've only won two matches all season. Division 2, Barnsley nil, Sheffield Wednesday 1. I think Sheffield Wednesday may well stay top on goal difference there. Chelsea are level with them and won 3 0 at home to Oldham. Division 3, Exeter nil, Gillingham nil. Exeter now gone uh, eight matches without a win, and that's the first point they've got, in fact, in eight matches. Division 4, Mansfield 2, Reading nil. Mansfield's first win in 10 games. And by the way, Chelsea, I think, go back on top of, on goal difference because of their better win today. They won 3 0, while Sheffield Wednesday won 1 0. Stranraer 2, Albion Rovers at 0, and the Scottish League Division 2. Now Division 3 of the Football League. Sheffield United 6, Orient 3. Sheffield United unbeaten at home, 4th this morning. Division 1, Luton 0, Queen's Park Rangers 0. Luton haven't won at home in 6 matches. Uh, Division 1, Ipswich in trouble again. Ipswich 0, West Ham United 3. Now this match is on the coupons. Southern Premier League, Sutton Coldfield 0, Fisher Athletic 1. Division 3, Hull 1, Bolton 1. 6th and 7th those two clubs this morning. Division 4, Peterborough 2, Rochdale 0. Peterborough just one home defeat this season. Very solid at home. Division 1, Sutherland 2, Arsenal 2. This match is on the coupons. Southern Premier League, Gosport 1, Kings Lynn 1. And the score draws building up. Division 3, Wimbledon 2, Preston 2. Wimbledon in second place, drop valuable points. Division 1 in Scotland, Dumbarton 2, Falkirk 0, Dumbarton goes second. Division 2, Crystal Palace 0, Leeds 0. Division 1, Coventry City 0, Birmingham 1. Birmingham now eight games without losing, and they've won their last three at Coventry. Division 3 of the Football League, Port Vale next to bottom, 4, Brentford 3. Good win for the Vale there. Oh, rugby union. Well, the international matches, you know that France have won the, against England, and in fact, uh, Scotland have won the Triple Crown, beating Ireland very convincingly. We're hoping to meet the Scottish captain very shortly. Well, in fact, the uh, rugby union results going through there, and now we're going to go out and about and collect our special reports. And let's start at the bottom of the Football League for once, and I'll just make a note of the result. Wolves at home to Nottingham Forest. They beat Forest by one goal to nil. The reporter is Steve Lee. A thoroughly miserable afternoon for Brian Clough's Nottingham Forest. They had so much of this game, it was embarrassing. But what was even more embarrassing was the fact that they lost to a Wolves goal in the very last minute. Tony Towner got the goal with a bizarre cross-come shot. And that's bound to lead to a heated after-match inquest from Brian Clough in the Forest dressing room. In a mediocre game, Forest was streets ahead in possession, creativity and goal-scoring chances. But they failed to capitalise on that control and were made to pay the penalty. For the second week running, Forest had been beaten by a last-minute goal. And you can imagine what Brian Clough has to say about that. Well, I wonder what Alan Parry's got to say about his favourite uh, city. Merseyside uh, for him today, back home, and he saw Everton draw with Liverpool 1-1. Here's his report. Well, Everton won a vital psychological point here in a frenzied second-half revival, and to add to Liverpool's disappointment, the equalising goal was scored by substitute Alan Harper, a player allowed to leave Anfield for Goodison. Liverpool had led from the 17th minute, Ian Rush rising majestically to head home his 33rd goal of the season, following superb work by Craig Johnston. And at half-time, there was only one possible winner. But what a turnaround after half-time as Everton increased the pace and the passion of their football and had Liverpool really rattled. So much so that 30 minutes from the end, they conceded a penalty for a foul on Andy Gray. But Graham Sharp saw his spot kick saved by Bruce Grombelaar and it seemed that Everton's chance had gone till Harper scored his superb goal to give Everton supporters even more reason to look forward with optimism to their Wembley date in three weeks' time. Well, now your classified check. League Division 1. Aston Villa 0. Manchester United 3. Coventry City 0. Birmingham City 1. Everton 1. Liverpool 1. Ipswich Town 0. West Ham United 3. Leicester City 4. Watford one. Luton Town nil, Queen's Park Rangers nil. Notts County one, West Bromwich Albion one. Southampton two, Norwich City one. Sunderland two, Arsenal two. 
Tottenham Hotspur 1, Stoke City 0. Wolverhampton Wanderers 1, Nottingham Forest 0. League Division 2, Barnsley 0. Sheffield Wednesday 1. And Blackburn Rovers against Charlton Athletic, match postponed. Cardiff City against Middlesbrough, late kickoff. Carlisle United 2, Swansea City 0. Chelsea 3, Oldham Athletic 0. Crystal Palace 0, Leeds United 0. Derby County 1, Cambridge United 0. Fulham 2, Newcastle United 2. Grimsby Town 3, Portsmouth 4. Huddersfield Town against Brighton Hove Albion, late kickoff. Manchester City 1, Shrewsbury Town 0. And there's that Cardiff City, Middlesbrough result just coming in. Cardiff City 2, Middlesbrough 1. League Division 3. Bournemouth 3, Walsall 0. Bradford City 2, Oxford United 2. Bristol Rovers 2, Plymouth Argyle 0. Exeter City 0, Gillingham 0. Hull City 1, Bolton Wanderers 1. Lincoln City 2, Newport County 3. Millwall 2, Rotherham United 0. Port Vale 4, Brentford 3. Sheffield United 6, Orient 3. Wigan Athletic 2, Scunthorpe United, 0. Wimbledon 2, Preston North End 2. League Division 4, Blackpool 4, Wrexham 0. Bury against Colchester United, late kickoff. Chester City 4, Hartlepool United 1. Crew Alexandra 6, Halifax Town 1. Darlington 0, Hereford United 0. Doncaster Rovers 2, Chesterfield 1. Mansfield Town 2, Reading 0. Peterborough United 2, Rochdale 0. Swindon Town 1, Tranmere Rovers 1. And Torquay United against Northampton Town is an evening kickoff at 7.30. York City 1, Bristol City 1. The Scottish League Premier Division. Aberdeen 2, St Mirren 0. Dundee United 3, Celtic 1. Harder Midlothian 2, Motherwell 1. Rangers 0, Hibernian 0. St Johnston 1, Dundee 0. Scottish League Division 1. Edrionians 1, Brecon City 2. A United against Partick Thistle, match postponed. Clyde 1, Clyde Bank 1. Dumbarton 2, Falkirk 0. Hamilton Academical 1, Kilmarnock 1. Meadowbank 2, Alloa 1. Wraith Rovers 0, Morton 2. The Scottish League Division 2, none of which is on the coupon. Cowdenbeath 1, Dunfermline Athletic 2, East Stirlingshire 0, Arbroath 1, Forfar Athletic 0, Queen's Park 0, Montrose 1, East Fife 1, Queen of the South 2, Berwick Rangers 1, Stirling Albion 0, Stenhouse Muir 3, Stranra 2, Albion Rovers 0. The Southern League Premier Division, these matches are on the coupon. Gosport Borough 1, Kings Lynn 1. Gravesend 2, Folkestone 0. Stourbridge 0, Welling United 4. Sutton Coldfield Town 0, Fisher Athletic 1. A couple of late results still to come, but now look around the league tables, starting with the top of the first division, and Liverpool's lead now down to two points. Manchester United with that good run, 14 matches without defeat, two points behind the champions. Well, now we have a look at the uh, bottom end, and Walls have joined Notts County on 22 points, seven points behind Stoke City. Top of the second division, Chelsea go top on goal difference from Sheffield Wednesday, who both won their matches today, but changed places. Newcastle United moved from fourth into third place. Meanwhile, at the League Division 3, Oxford United on top, a point clear of Wimbledon with Sheffield United moving from 4th to 3rd above Walsall. 
Well, now, one or two of the late results. And the League Division 2, Huddersfield 0, Brighton 1. That is the latest score. Huddersfield 0, Brighton 1. That is the latest score. And the League Division 4, Bury 1, Colchester United 1. And we can have a look at the top of Division 4. And York City now only a point clear of Doncaster Robies. Uh, Bristol City move up from fourth to third, and Reading drop a place. Well, now here with the Scottish news, Archie McPherson. Well, David, Dundee United, the Premier Division champions, are back and back with a bang. Not only did they win by three goals to one today against Celtic, uh, tremendous opponents for them traditionally, but they won with style. And the opening goal by Eamon Bannon was one of the best I've seen in many a year, a 20-yarder that almost took the post away as it went in. The other goals were scored by Billy Kickwood and David Dodds, and just towards the end, Roy Aiken got a consolation goal. But Aberdeen are still top of the Premier Division, winning by two goals to nothing today, Strachan with another penalty kick, and Hewitt just before the end. Rangers stay in that same position and no scoring draw against Hibbs. John Robertson of Hearts scored a couple. The scouts are after him with a great deal of money. And I must confess that my thoughts tonight are in Dublin. I'm told the bars are open and you get a free drink if you're wearing a kilt. I'm off, David, to put mine on. I don't blame you. Actually, we're going straight to Dublin now. Rugby Union and, of course, Scotland won the Triple Crown today, beating Ireland in Dublin by 32 points to nine. Most convincing. And here's one of the happiest men, Jim Aitken, the captain. And I think captaining Scotland to the Triple Crown after a gap of 46 years must be the happiest moment of your life, Jim. Well, it's taken time to sink in. It was a long, long 40 minutes that second half out there, and uh, I think it's going to be one of these nights. The first 40 minutes was perhaps Scotland's best performance for a long time. You had complete control up front, didn't you? Yeah, when you had to get some points in the first half, we had a look at Lansdowne yesterday afternoon. And it was pretty blustery, and it was the same this morning. We thought we had to get points in the first half. Uh, the tries couldn't have come at a better time. Uh, it's a good job we had the lead at half time, I think, because Ireland, we knew we would come back at us in the second half. Uh, it went more or less according to plan. Mm. Was Roy Laidlaw uh, on orders to break close to the scrum and expose the Irish back row? We planned to play it round the scrum, especially in the first half. Um, just this, the, the, the two work moves that Roy got were planned moves we've been working on for a fortnight. And they were two great tries, weren't they? Very good tries. And the penalty try, that actually was a fairly crucial score, wasn't it? It, it, it again was a crucial score. Um, I didn't see it. it was a collapsed scrum. Uh, both sides caved in, and I wouldn't like to say one way or other, but we're glad we got the point. It was a useful six points at that yeah, time. Right there, yes. What about in the second half? It looked as if suddenly the Triple Crown nerves did settle in because you, you spent a lot of that next 30 minutes defending. I think they did, especially the 20 minutes after half time. We, we, everything we were doing seemed to go wrong, but the lads just stuck in, held tight. And I knew eventually if we could get some ball, uh, more tries would come. That was the problem in the second half. When Michael Keenan scored his smashing try for Ireland, what were you saying to your team under the posts? Well, first of all, we had to give away no more points. Uh, it was a good try. Uh, well worked with the Irish. They'd been rocking well at that time. And uh, just after that, we had to get points fairly quickly because uh, if Ireland had got another score, we could have been in problems. Perhaps the proudest moment for you would be the last 10 minutes when your team came right back and scored two more marvellous tries. Again, we, we tried work moves and we tried to run the ball in the last 10 minutes. We had, we had always planned this regardless of what the score was. And I'm glad the tries came off. You couldn't finish a game in a better way. You scored 32 points today. France did the same in Paris. So that should make an interesting confrontation in a fortnight. Well, I think that's going to be a cracker of a game. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's only two weeks this time. The, the month was a long, long month. Um, I think it's going to be some game at Murrayfield. And what about your atmosphere in the dressing room now? Not too disappointed? <laughs> There's, uh, it's a bit of disbelief. The lads are kind of sitting down trying to take it in. Uh, give us an hour and we'll, you know, you'll see what the atmosphere is like. Good, well done today and good luck in a fortnight against France. Thanks very much. And the championship tells its own story there. The table shows France and Scotland both 100% in that uh, vital match at Murrayfield in a fortnight to decide the title. England with two points from their three games, Wales with two from their three, and Ireland, unfortunately, with the wooden spoon. Well now, one late result you haven't heard from the soccer scene and the League Division 2, Huddersfield nil, Brighton 1. Huddersfield now haven't won at home in the last six matches. And the Pools news, 13 score draws, 5 no score draws, no claims required. The dividend forecast is low. I'll go through them for you. The score draws, numbers 3, 7, 9, 17, 22, 25, 31, 33, 40, 41, 42, 53, 
55. Those are the score draws. Well, now the rugby union news. In the services tournament, Royal Navy 6, the Army 13. In the club matches, Bridge End 42, Hlenethley 3. In Cross Keys 9, uh, Lydney 10. Evervale 18, uh, Cardiff 61. Glamorgan Wanderers 24, Maesteg 4. Gosforth 9, Sale 22. Headingley 12, Nottingham 16. Leicester 35, Harlequins 20. London Scottish 29, Richmond 10. London Welsh 26, South Glamorgan Institute 18. Newport 21, Newbridge 14. Oxford University 32, Rugby 15. Saracens 18, Nathan 7 and Wasps 10, Coventry 16. Well done, Leonard Barton. You had a real race there against the clock. Uh, national Cross Country News, Eamon Martin has won the national title. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed today's programme. We've been on the air a long time. I uh, hope it's been worth it. Now from us, goodbye. Um.